Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some bacon, meatballs, stuffed onions on the grill, and they're real easy to do. All right, you're going to need some bacon, and you're going to need some ground beef. And here, of course, we've got some ground chuck, and you want to use some good beef for this recipe. And here we've got some sweet onions. These are Vidaya onions. And uh, you choose a nice sweet onion like, a, well, maybe a Walla Walla, a Texas sweet, or a Spanish onion. Yeah, you want to use a good sweet onion for this recipe. All right, let's uh, put this together, and we'll show you how to do it. Now, first thing you want to do, we're going to uh, core these onions, right? We want to remove the center portion of these onions because we're going to be stuffing them with meatballs. And, and it's good. Now, it's pretty simple to core, and this is the way you do it right here, all right? You slice off the ends of the onion, all right? And then uh, you take the knife and just slice the uh, outer layer, the outer ring there, and you, uh, you remove the onion skin, the outer skin there, all right? Then you take your knife, because we got to loosen this up. You take your knife here and uh, just loosen up the inside. This will make it real easy to core. Now you just take a uh, ordinary kitchen spoon and you start separating the rings, all right? Just like that. And you do it this way rather than a straight knife because uh, otherwise you just might cut it and split this onion in two. You don't want to do that, see? Kind of simple. Now, of course, you want to use a good size onion to do this. Man, see how easy it is? Scrape along with your spoon. Simple enough, right? All right, let me show you one more time. Cut the ends. Slice the outer ring. Remove the onion skin. Oh, yeah. And you loosen up the core, like that. Man. Use your spoon to make it larger. Just twist, turn. It may take you a few times to get this right, but just keep at it. Now, if you've, uh, if you've never stuffed onions with meatballs before, yeah, you definitely got to check this out. In fact, you're going to want to make a lot of these, man, because there ain't going to be any leftovers. Whoa. All right. And through the miracle of time, we've cored a bunch of these. Of course, you want to save your leftover onion. Now, next thing we're going to do here is make the meatballs. Now, you definitely want to make the meatballs the way you like those meatballs, all right? But uh, if you haven't made them in a while, this is the way you do it. I've got a little of uh, those leftover onions there. I'm going to throw it in about two pounds of this ground chuck. And here I've got some seasoning. Use what seasoning you want. This here is a little uh, SPG with some uh, cayenne pepper and a few spices. You just make your meatballs the way you like them, all right? Give it a good mix in here. Oh, yeah. And like I said, you want to use a good quality ground beef. This here is about 80% uh, lean to fat, and, um, and it's ground chuck. Got a lot of flavor in the, for this uh, meatballs we're making here. Now, make the meatball. You know all about that, right? Now, here's the magic. Stuff it right in that onion right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be slow cooking them on the grill. 
And what'll happen is this uh, flavor of the ground beef is gonna get in this onion as it's cooking. And the onion's gonna end up tasting like beefsteak. Whoa, man. Let's make a couple more, all right? Just stuff that ground chuck in there. Now, we've stuffed the onions with these meatballs, and now what we're gonna do is wrap them with some regular cut bacon. All right, and use your favorite bacon. All right. Now, I found that it's best to use regular cut rather than thick cut, because the bacon's gonna cook fairly quickly. Just wrap them. Now, you might use two slices, three slices, even four slices. Depends how big those onions are, right? Now, not only does that uh, bacon add a layer of flavor to this, but it also keeps the onion from burning, all right? You're getting overcooked. And you don't need those sissy uh, toothpicks to keep this together either, as you know. When you low and slow bacon, it'll slowly constrict whatever you got it wrapped around, right? It'll get tighter. Now, I don't really need to show you any more of this, right? You already get the picture, but uh, I kind of like doing this. <laughs> So just use that fast forward button. It's just getting boring for you. All right, give that bacon a good wrap. Here's a closer shot. Oh yeah. All right, let's put these bacon meatball stuffed onions on the grill. Now we've got the grill set up for indirect heating. And if you've been watching us over the years, you know what that's all about got the hot charcoal on one side and we're gonna place these opposite all right because we're gonna be cooking these at about 250 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit and it's gonna take a couple hours oh yeah looks good put the cover on I'm just gonna kick back and relax All right, we fast forward here. Now we're into this about one and three quarter hours, all right? And uh, here I've got some barbecue sauce and we're gonna hit a few of these uh, bacon meatball stuffed onions with some sauce. You can do them the way you want. We'll check back in about another 10 minutes or so. Too many flies and bees around. Better watch it. We'll cook them. All right. These are almost ready to pull off the grill. Well, we're gonna put some cheese on top first. And uh, heck, what the hell is a meatball without some cheese? I've got some mozzarella there. Use your favorite cheese, like cheddar or whatever. All right. And here I've got a couple pickled jalapenos. Get creative goes real good with these bacon meatballs stuffed onions. Man, can you smell that? It smells good. I say it's time to eat. Look at that. Pull them off the grill. I say it's time to eat. Let me 
cut one of these open for you. Take a look at that. Lord have mercy. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.